Beep, beep welcome to the channel guys this is martian and today we are back at the outer worlds again so thank you for joining me i'm gonna show you something so we have the option to kill mini or kill olivia and side with the other you know that's kind of simple so i will show you both endings like after killing mini and after killing olivia separately i'm gonna make saves and i'm gonna do both of them so i will start off with killing mini because i do not believe in the revival project of you know the adrenal time thing so we are going to go to Ambrose Manor and we will kill Minnie and I will show you the ending and then we will move on to killing Olivia and I will show you the ending to that as well. Ending means that I am going to also show how it affects the whole game. Okay, that's gonna be neat. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how it all affects the whole game in general, I'm just gonna say. Because I mean, of course you can just end the DLC by killing one of these people and you know, there it goes, but... I feel like ending the game with it, it will show a little part of how Gorgon was affected in general. I'm gonna make a save. And, you know, the basic thing that I can just move on from there. I mean, finish the whole game, you know? Finishing the DLC, then finishing the game. It will show how Gorgon was affected. And I will do that in both cases, so... Please stick around for that, and if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, and... Join us on the adventure, my fellow! Let's move on to the manor and slay some bitches. She's expecting us. I don't think we're getting a warm welcome this time. You know what? Probably not. We're gonna kill our employer, so um it's gonna get tough, you know. Just let's just say it, put it simply. Oh my boy. Oh my balls, this boy. This boy was a fucking I don't know, butler. Why is he attacking? Oh god damn it. Every butler has a gun now. Jesus! Ah! Mommy! Boy oh boy! Also I apologize for like... Uh... Late release of this video because... Boy! I had some personal issues to take care of. I had an accident in the family and then we have flood warnings in my area and... Mental health issues. Oh my boy. Everything was going tough for a while. So I had to take a break. I apologize for that. Alright, so I think Mini is upstairs, so we're gonna go upstairs and... Oh boy, no. Nope. I don't think it's gonna be that easy, is it? I don't think so. I do not think so. Boy. Look at her. She's strong. She can just take down mechanical synergist. Well, she cannot. I will finish it. What happened? I feel like my weapons are getting weak. Boy, this boy is strong. He flies and he's strong. He protect, he attack. Most of all, he got her back. Olivia's. Uh, 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 or Minis. I'm sorry. I get them... I get them mixed up. Alrighty, nothing here. Uh, where is she? So we unlocked an elevator. No idea where that is. I'm just gonna check. Mini? No, she's not here. Okay, she's downstairs. Let's go downstairs then, boys. Reloading. Just, you know, slay, slay, slay! Swap some guns and I'm good to go! So, um, she's downstairs, there's the elevator. And I'm in total mood of looking around. Boy, she's gonna... She's gonna be surprised that I killed all of her toys. Yep. Look yeah, look at us! Just barging into someone's house who employed us and killing everybody. That's real neat, isn't it? Boy, oh boy. What is going on over here? Is this a kitchen? Oh no, it is not. It is Olivia's lab. And I'm right about the name this time. It is literally Olivia's lab. Minnie did not set her foot in here, did she? Nope. This is totally Olivia's lab. Not that we found any hints, but I'm just saying like... Well, here's the elevator, let's go kill Minnie. Because that's what she wants. She wanna die, you know? That's that- <laughs> It's that simple, boy. And we're gonna deliver it. Well, we are here, and boy, here's the boy. No strong ass boy. Oh, his friends are mad. Oh, there's a mechanical thing there. Oh boy. It's really shining, isn't it? I cannot look through the scope. It's fucking... It's fucking ballers. It sucks. Damn it. Well. You know what? Burning people is the best thing ever. Like, look at this. They're going down. They're gonna burn. Take that, bitch. Hell yeah. These girls are really just, you know, add the cinematics in. That's real nice. Oh boy, no, that does not, this is not the weapon. Not for this thing. Okay, so there's a turret here. Can I burn it? 
yeah, not getting through. And so I thought, you know, it's real spinning and everything, but yeah, we can take cover from it, so that's really nice. All right then, uh, let's try try this. The robot slayer. Yeah. Nah, boy, you ain't surviving my electric charges. So I'm just gonna look around once. Boy, this looks messed up. What has she been doing? Oh, I have no bullets for this. Getting in and looking around. Anybody here? I'm just gonna grab that. Thank you for the hammer. I'm not gonna use it or anything, I'm just gonna sell it. Alright. No one here, so we're just gonna take everything. Hey girls, what you doing? System. Oh, wait a second. Nope. Threat here, threat. Kill it. Kill it with guns, kill it with blades. Ah, come on. Alright, this was tough. So there's a zapper here. Hi, buddy. How you doing? He zaps too, see? Got him off. And that's really scary because that gets to me. I feel it in my soul and my ass all. You know, so. Electri electricity is bad. You don't use my weapon against me. So I'm just gonna look around, loot everything. You know, the boxes and everything. Let's hope we don't die because I feel weak for some reason. Okay, that's good. Butteroni, there's a lot of ammo here. The game is really preparing me for something, and I'm totally not willing to listen to the game. So here we go. Hello. Didn't I warn you not to set foot in here until the job was done? Attack. You Shut up. Farewell, Captain. If it wasn't already obvious, you're fired. I don't care. I'm gonna take your money off your, off your dead body then. Hello, buddy. Take the gloop gun. How are you feeling with the gloop gun? How are you feeling? Oh, you're not feeling so good, are you? Oh my god, there's a turret there. Well, gloop gun does not do anything with the turrets because it kind of, you know, falsifies the gravity and everything, so... Eh, I don't think gloop gun is the better choice, but... Yeah, we're gonna change that. Hi, buddies. Y'all wanna take some headshots? No, nope, they don't. They don't seem keen on headshots. Oops. Well, this guy's gonna chase my ass. My girls are close to dying and I do not care because I wanna just... Kill these people and that'd be that'd be fine. Oh, hello, Mini. Mini's here. Look at that. Hey, I did not see you there. I'm gonna heal. I'm sorry. This is a boss fight. This gotta be hard. Only if I give my girls better guns. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that would have been much easier. But I like to play life on hard difficulty, so why not the game too? Man, you're not zapping my girls like that, man. Your boss is dead. What is you fighting for? Robotness, Terminator, Rise of the Machines. What did I tell you? Harlow's down with the man stick was just an act. No yeah. one who yammers that much means half of it. Huh. Okay. Well, you know what? I feel like you're right. So, it is hard to know who to trust. Don't sound too excited. That was Felix's friend. Yeah, Harlow. Harlow was Felix's friend. I, I'm sorry. No one uses me like that. Okay, well, how? Ah, well, okay, you're right there. It's hard to know who to trust, don't sound so excited, that was Felix's friend. Oh, well, I don't know what to choose, I'll, I'll just choose this. Just as long as you expect it from everyone, you'll always see it coming. Yeah, you're right there too. Hard for them to get a knife in your back that way. You're right. People look out for their own interests. Amen. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. Uh, doctor, you're really see, smart. This is what I like about you. You may not be from here, but you fit right in. Yeah. You're not helping the scientists because you think that crackpot will save the colony. Nah, I'm not actually. No, but that's not the point. I feel like that's the right way to go, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that, so... You're right. The point is that self-interest is like self-pleasure. Don't say that. No one wants to admit it, but everyone has a hand in it. Hey, come on. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? Yeah, never mind. We good. I think we're good, aren't we? Let me see. Let's talk about Gorgon Job, Byzantium, head back to the ship now. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. So, we slayed Minnie and her mom might be mad. I guess she asked us not to kill her. Excuse me! Who's remaining? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, the guns, the turrets. I did not take them down and I did not trigger them. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. Wait a second now. You're not doing that to my partners. Listen up. Oh my god, you're shooting me. 
I cannot hide and attack you, can I? No. Nope. That guy was just dumb. This guy is smarter. Well, I'm gonna take some to the chest and kill you. Well, I kill you. And that's much better. Alright, uh... All fucked up and nice. My brain trauma has totally not... Okay, so this is the exit way? Yep, totally. Yeah, my brain trauma has not totally expanded much. Like, to the left side of the brain as well. But, yeah, let's do this. Let's blast something. NDA protocol, something. I don't know what that does. Oh, is it gonna blast full of Gorgon? Lordy, what the hell happened? Are people at Spratchak safe? I hope so. I think this is done. Yeah, okay, well, the, it's just the lab. You finished it, Captain. Yeah. You've put Gorgon down once and for all. Yeah. I only wish that Minnie had seen reason. Agree. What good we could have done together. Join me for a toast in the drawing room. Oh. I do believe you're due a reward. I feel like... Stay armed and ready, Captain. Yeah. I still don't trust her. Same. Hand to law, Captain. I mean you no harm. Hmm. It's a date. Yeah, it is a date. Yes, it's a date. No, it most certainly is not. Come on. Olivia, give me a chance. And meet me upstairs. I'll have a drink waiting. Olivia, come on, give me a chance. I'll make a perfect boyfriend. And a good stepfather to your dead daughter, whom I killed, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm too crazy for that. Okay, never mind then. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. You know what? I have nimble fingers, girls. <laughs> Tell Olivia that. Maybe she will agree on the date thing, maybe, you know? Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go and... I'm actually uh, not trusting Olivia here because we just killed her daughter. She's not just gonna award me. I'm totally sure about that, you know? She's gonna totally betray us. So, Atreus, prepare yourself. <laughs> I'm totally, I'm totally prepared. I'm pre totally prepared for betrayals right now, like... Stab in the back! Yeah, I'm ready. I got the bulletproof stab proof backs, you know, something like that. Armor. Yay. I'm strong. Alright, so, um, where is she? She said she's gonna meet me here. Ooh, okay. Hello. Oh, wow. She's right there where we met Minnie. Oh my god, this is gonna be some deja vu. Hello. Captain. Aye. I believe you look like her. Is in order. The Gorgon project is dead. Deja vu. And we are not. Deja vu. Yes. That's what I said. She looks like her too a little. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll drink it. Hey, just she will poison Speak you. Up, Captain. I can't hear a thing when you mumble like that. Well, a lady, I think you know, Minnie did the same thing Can't when I met her. Remind me of what I've lost, Captain. I'm sorry. Right now. I'm sorry. Not in our moment of triumph. I can't bear to face it under the glare of all these stars. Oh. I find myself at loose ends now, Captain. What happens next? Date me, marry me, something. I don't know. You want to go on a date? Maybe I'll find a handsome little bolt hole out there in the aether. And endeavor to keep a low profile, as they say. Maybe you can find Maybe a handsome man. Pick up a soothing, useless hobby, like watercolor painting. Spacer's Choice will want to take their turn at revenge. And I'd rather not be within reach when they do. Well, I'm gonna end them, so it's not gonna be a problem, you know. Nah, get lost, uh, stay lost. Yeah, nah, that's kinda rude, let's not say that. Don't let those corporate bastards catch you. Yeah, that kind of suits, I guess. I'll take it a day at a time. Run when I have to. Hide when I can. There's no glory in it. But I'm eager to put those days behind me. You know what? Good start. Where will the future lead you, Captain? You know what? I got things to do. <laughs> uh, I'll take it R by R. I feel like that's the right. The satisfaction of a job well done isn't enough for you. Reward, though. Reward. I'm joking, of course. Please take this with my thanks. Oh wow. It's not much. That shit low. Recognition for your efforts. I think Minnie was gonna pay me more. I know your crew played no small part in this as well. Thank you. Um. Really? No more prepare to die, little weasel. Hey. You're yeah. Welcome, ma'am. I hope you take this life and do something better with it. Halcyon owes you both a tremendous debt. Yeah, thank you for saying that, I guess. We couldn't undo the damage Spacer's Choice did to the colony, but we stopped them from ever doing it again. 
You well, right? It's time we stop looking back and turn our eyes to the stars. Yeah. You know what? Cooked up some ideas. I got scientists to rescue. Yeah, we got we got big answers to say. Yeah, figured I might give them a shot. Yeah, this is this is right. I guess I'm not even reading that. You know, that's how you win multiple choice questions, more like because you select the biggest answer and that's the right one. I mean, that's how I passed an exam. Be careful the board doesn't catch you enjoying yourself on their watch. You know what? I killed the In board. In any case, I do believe this is the end. Law willing, Adrena time is dead for good. And the marauders will die out with it. I'm sorry about them. Goodbye, Captain. And thank you again. May the stellar wind be ever at your back. Goodbye, Olivia. Good luck. Okay, well, we did this. And I will queue with the ending of this. I mean, I will go and kill Sophia Kande now. And I will, uh, well... You know, show you that ending, and I hope that you guys like that, because it will show the part of Gorgon that we have affected. So, yeah, enjoy that, and I will come back, and we will kill Olivia that time. And hopefully the ending will change a little, and let's see which is the best ending. For me, this is the best ending, so... Yeah, you know, I feel like this is what I'm gonna stick with in the main game. But, yeah, we have to kill Olivia and see where that leads, and if it was for any good at all. So I'm just gonna make a save, just in case, and yeah, please sit down and enjoy the ending to this. Even the Gorgon asteroid, though a distant enigma to most of Halcyon, felt the aftershocks of your actions. The destroyed Adrena Time Synthesizer became a symbol of the board's cruelty and a rallying point for Wells and his scientists as they sought to build a more humane, ethical Halcyon. They cleared the dead from Gorgon's laboratories and repurposed them to aid in the crucial work of solving the colony's nutrition crisis. The Gorgon Project's final explosive end was bittersweet for Olivia Ambrose. She wandered the colony's fringes alone, searching for others like her who despised the board and meant to destroy them. In time, she found Phineas Wells and his cadre of scientists, and she joined them in their efforts to save Halcyon. For a while, she even knew an uneasy peace. But for all that, Olivia found purpose in Wells' project. She was always haunted by the memory of her daughter, Minnie, who hadn't lived to see the better world they were building. She never did forgive herself for the horror her work had wrought on Halcyon. But she remembered fondly the daring captain who'd put an end to it at last. In spite of everything, the Gorgon asteroid remained a sobering reminder of the potential for progress and disaster in humanity's most ambitious efforts. Well, here we go and kill Olivia now this time, so I am at... Uh, the other place, which is Gorgon, and we have to go to somewhere she is hiding. So let me see where she is hiding. Ah, she's in the OCI facility, I'm pretty sure, yep. So let's fast travel there, and I will be, uh, showing you the ending to this one as well. Okay, and that will be neat. Okay, hey Parvati, how you doing? So I'm just gonna get in. Hey Pam, how you doing Pam? So I activated Pam last time. Oh. Sure. Well. We beat him once. We'll beat him again. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of sure that we are gonna beat him again, but we have to beat them. That's a lot of work, isn't it? So Pam is on our side, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 buddy, you're not shooting at my partners. What you doing? Hey. Nope. Damn, this this gun real strong. Oh ho ho. Santa is here. Well, buddies, listen to me. I'm gonna send my girls at you, and you're gonna be sorry, okay? That's, that's not good. <laughs> Bam is doing some work, that's kinda lit. I'm just saying, like, 
Pam is lit as fuck. It's like a third leg you can just have. You already have Ali and, well, um, Parati, but Pam can assist you if you want. So I activated Pam last time, but we couldn't use her help. So here she is, helping us now, you know, kill Olivia and everything. So let's hope she accompanies us up to where she, where Olivia actually is. And then we can move on from there, I guess. Hi, there's still a guy left. What was that? What was that? Oh, you have no idea what was that. Your friends just got, got killed there, like half a hallway down. What the fuck were you doing? Were you not listening? Are you dumb? Hi, buddy. Oh, y'all really clueless, are you? So we have to go there and find Olivia. I don't think Pam is coming, but I would sure hope that she comes. Because, like, it's really neat. I don't know. I adore Pam. I adore romats. They're really nice and cute. Like BT from, from Titanfall. He's really cute. I like him. He was my best friend. Until he died it. Alrighty then. Let's reload. Um, ready to face. So elevator. What elevator? We're going through this way. Girl. Just stop being scared. You know? Okay, so we are here and... Boy. Shit looks wrecked. I'm totally hoping that Minnie's gonna pay me more. Because her mother just paid 500 bits to me and I'm... Kinda... Kinda not happy about that. <laughs> Hey, buddy, no, no, listen to me. Oh my gosh. Jesus, save you now. I don't think he will. After this rat, I don't think anybody's gonna save you. These girls just kill a man. Like a full health guy. They just fucking wreck him if they do their specials. Strong girls. Alrighty. Huh, his hand had something. Look at me, though. I'm real strong, but I only look strong. Should I put on something else? Yeah, that's much better armor. Oh, now I'm slow. Because I have that, um, that mod on my armor where I can carry more stuff if I put that in my armor, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this on again. Yeah, I can take some blows because I'm strong, guys. Yeah, 28 armor is not bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, more guys here? Hey, lad. Hey, it's me, Uncle Roger from Philly. How you doing? Oh, Jesus. Well then, these guys were minty as fuck. They died quick. Oh man, I have so much stuff. I need to get rid of this. Okay, I'm walking fast now because I got rid of some bullshit. Hey lad, you gonna get some rusty rusts? Oh my gosh, I don't think I can shoot. Medical drone, take him down. Fuck him up. Oh, these bastards, there's two of them. Oh, 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 nope, not, not letting that happen now. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell are you doing, huh? You bitch. Don't you heal them? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna ha have a heart attack. Guys. Hey, stop fighting. Shut. Are you healing each other? Oh, you bastards. Oh, you oh you healed each other. What the frick? That's not how it works. You're a medical drone, not an engineer drone. What the hell? Oh, that's so unfair game. I don't even know if it was happening. I'm just making a trauma out of it. Hey, buddy. Oh, watch me. Watch me take this gun out and... Woohoo! Go party on your fucking face! Right. Hmm. That was quick. I'm sensing more enemies, I'm just gonna... Yeah, these medical drones are weird, man. I totally think like 95% that they were healing each other. Not sure though. Not sure. I might be blind. Sometimes I just... See things differently, you know? And it ain't fair to my brain, but my eyes deceive me. Hello, sir. What are you facing up there? Did you think I was gonna come from that door? It ain't happening. Hi, buddy. Oh, lordy. You're gonna heal him, huh? You sons of a... Sons of a chili. Oh, Jesus, man. What the hell is wrong with you? I thought he was Parvati for a second. Then I saw the helmet and I was like, okay, well, wait. Parvati does not have a helmet. Boy, oh boy. Are you feeling scared, huh? Well, you're not feeling scared anymore. Because death. It rids you of all the fear, you know? Huh, what is that? A shitty helmet in the corner, that's what it is. So do we take the elevator? It's gonna take all of this ammo and... Use it to kill Olivia. <laughs> Where are you? You know what? Parvati's dialogue totally states that... Killing Minnie was the right choice and killing Olivia is the bad choice. 
Like you can totally hear it in her voice and dialogues, totally. I'm, I'm, I'm like being truthful here, not even like joking or anything. Think so I know this is the wrong choice, I'm ready to end this. like morally. But I have to do this, I have to show you guys how what happens, right? I mean, so I'm totally just down to do this, right? Totally fine. Yeah, totally not crying right now. Killing the right person. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm heavy. All right then, let's do this. Look, I will try to talk her out of this, okay? Hey, here's a Discord in here. Hi, Yondu. I'll give you one thing, little weasel. You are relentless. I'm reckless as fuck. I did everything in my power to stop you, yet here you stand before me. Yeah. Offensively alive. I'm sorry to offend Just you. Just so we're clear. If you intend to restart this machine, You'll have to go through me. Sure, I'll fucking plow through you, you know? I'm just gonna shoot your head and throw you in the re reactor. Oh my god, there's th that is an option. Throwing her in the reactor is an option. Okay, well then. Ah, uh, can we talk this through? Please? I don't wanna kill you. I'm done talking. Aw, don't be like that. Compromise, consensus. It resolves nothing. Okay. All that remains is action and inaction. Kill me. Or let me destroy this place. Why haven't you done that yet? Well, I don't want to kill you, Olivia. Let's, you could just walk away. If you believe this will be that simple, you haven't been paying attention. Just doing my job for money. I can no more walk away than I can voluntarily cease breathing. Okay, I'm sorry. I will die before I let Dude. my empty-headed daughter resurrect Adrena time. Do you understand? It's not too late, you could work together with Minnie or something, you know? Please, come on! There is no working with Spacer's Choice. I know, I you know. You work for them. Yeah, you're right there. If you refuse, they sell your contract to a rival firm staffed by your enemies. Or seize your housing and turn you out onto the street. You're right, I know. And if you've really irritated them, they simply kill you. Uh, well... Good thing I'm going to destroy the board then. Sincerely, I wish you luck. Thanks. I suspect you're just about the only person in this colony who believes that's possible. I can do it. Besides that madman, Wells. Judging by his wanted poster, he's always lived on the tail end of the sanity bell curve. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you're right. He has it right. The board doesn't care for Halcyon. They'll do anything and use anyone to see their ends met. See? If she really agreed with Mr. Wells, yeah. she'd be out there helping him, not hold up here on this rock. I know, I know. I'm losing my patience. Very well. I'd like to ask you something before we end this fight. Sure, go for it. I think you've plumbed all the sordid depths of Gorgon. You know how many lives my work destroyed, and still you want to revive it. Why? You know what? <laughs> I think option one is the best right now, right? Yeah, I believe Adrena time could improve the lives of the colonists across Halcyon. Well, I have to go for this you choice. You know that's not true. Yeah, and I know. Still, you say it. Yeah. Either you are astonishingly naive, gravely misled, or a cynical opportunist. Call me the third one. There is not a solution to every problem, and you can't just will one to appear out of thin air. Some things cannot be fixed, Captain. Adrena time, this colony, me. Find peace in that if you can. I doubt you'll find it anywhere else. Well. But enough. You didn't come here for a lecture. Let's get this charade over I'm with. I'm sorry, man. I really like you, but I have to do this, okay? I'm gonna give you the more gruesome death, just for- just because I like you, okay? So, let's get this over with. I know this is the wrong choice. I totally know, because game has been dropping enough hints for me to know that this is a wrong choice. But I'm still gonna do it, but just to show you guys, okay? And this is not the part of my main gameplay. This is just an AU thing, like more alternate reality thing that did not happen. So I'm just making that clear, because I'm gonna go with the other ending. If I play the game further, more DLCs come out, you know? So, yeah. Let's shove it into the reactor and get this over with. Listen. I'm sorry, my love, but you have to go, because you refuse to date. 
Rest in peace. That was a cinematic. Well then, what this be? I hope we did the right thing, Captain. No one's spacer's choice. Right won't stop him from doing wrong. We did not do the right thing, Perwati. It sucks, but it's true, you know? And I'm totally fine with that. Well, then we're just gonna make our way out, and... Yeah. With a heavy heart, I leave this place. And I will have to go to, um, well, what is the... Minnie's house and tell her the news that her mom is no more. And then she probably will attack me because I do not trust that bitch. And yeah, this is gonna be... This is gonna be scary. So I'm just gonna go to my ship, right? Well, there's nothing here left that's that needs to be done so we gonna get out so yeah man i'm really just not going with this ending anyways so this is just for showing you guys how it goes anyways you know with the other ending but yeah yeah i'm faced after this i'm just like a slightly disturbed because boy this is not what i expected like why would the game make me choose every time like at first it was adelaide and dobson and i killed them both that was really an amazing choice because if you don't side with anybody, <laughs> you fucking kill them all. But yeah, man, this was a hard choice to make. Let's go. Let's go and talk to Wilhelmina and hopefully she will understand why I had to kill her mother. Because she did not seem to, like, care anyways. <laughs> it's not gonna be hard. Alright. Uh, still nervous, like killing a family member and going and, you know, giving the news to some other family member that they are dead and I killed them. Uh, you always expect betrayal there, always. Keep that a note, guys. You know, you can always expect betrayal there. They can anyways kill you anytime. Okay, so when I was coming to attack here, uh, these lights on the, like, this path, they were red. Hey, what happened to Buddy? Is he still alive? Oh, the girls are still there. Never mind. So these light lights were red. And now they're white again, because I'm a friend now this time, so... There's no warning or anything, you know? It's still in lockdown, but I will not be attacked because... I turned on the generator and everything, so... Or the reactor. So I don't think Minnie's gonna be mad now. I got her the deal. I hope she makes a lot of money reviving Adrena Time and everything. So here she is, just like Olivia was standing. Uh, I don't know what's with this room. Why they stand here? Because maybe, because of this, I don't know, amazing window there. Maybe. Hmm, that's a good look. Anyways, let's go talk to her and... You've done it! Hi! The Gorgon asteroid is under my control. The Ambrose family curse is broken. And my legacy will rise from the ashes in triumph. Thank yeah. you, Captain. We're going to change the Halcyon colony. This time for the better. As for Mother... What's done is done. I grieved for her long ago. The woman who perished on Gorgon was only her shadow. I'm sorry for your loss, all the same. Thank you, but save the kind words for someone who can use them. Mm. If I need consolation, I can buy it myself. Mm. I haven't forgotten your payment. Hey! Here's a little extra for your discretion. Excuse me? I always prefer getting paid to getting shot for my silence. I hope she really can help the colony. Yeah. You can't be everywhere at once after all, Captain. Hey, that's so of nice of my you. My gratitude goes out to your crew as well. Equal contributors all, I'm sure. This has been a long time coming, Captain. I can finally get on with my life. And the colony can begin to heal. Where do you go from here? What heroic challenge will the intrepid captain of the unreliable conquer next? I got things to do, okay, but I have no idea why you paid me less. That's kind of mean. I'm going to commit every crime. <laughs> you know me, Minnie, I know her plan. Idea. I hope that fortune draws you a long and winding path, even if it loops around from time to time. Hey, don't say Good that. Good luck out there, captain. I would wish you safe travels, but I do so admire how you rush headlong into danger. Keep it that way, won't you? Yeah, I will, Minnie. Be seeing you, Minnie. Bye. Yeah, well, um, still does not feel like the right choice to make, but I will let the ending decide that because the narrator, you know, he, she might end up making something much better than Adrena Time, you know, reviving the research and everything, so, well, why not? Why not? Like, go on, you go, girl.
probably your mom's death will result into something much better. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, there's a big maybe there because... Boy, I, I don't know. I don't know which ending was better. I mean, so far. Because I've not seen the uh, rest of the narration of the this ending. Because I have to still go and kill Sophia Kande. And, uh, I don't know, then the narrator will tell me how things went with Gorgon. But I really hope she turns out doing something good with Adrena time. If she does not, I'm gonna fucking come and shoot her. Hopefully I can still enter this place when that happens. So yeah, this is the end of Peril on Gorgon DLC. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you still gotta stick around and, you know, watch that end part. But I will make it quick for you, so I'm just gonna leave this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to say sayonara to this one now, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new here, kindly subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and let me know. And I will see you in the next episode of Anything I Play. So stick around for that as well. So take care of yourself, guys. Be nice to people, be nice to animals. I'm going to leave this one here, and peace. Even the Gorgon asteroid, though a distant enigma to most of Halcyon, felt the aftershocks of your actions. The Gorgon Project created divisions among Wells' newly awakened scientists. Many wanted to let the facility and its failures rot, but others saw an opportunity to improve the work of the original scientists and, perhaps, the lives of Halcyon's masses. Mini Ambrose made a compelling case for the benefits of an improved Adrena Time formula one that could reinvigorate Halcyon's exhausted, malnourished workforce as they fought for survival in the new and uncertain world. She led the project, committed to reasonable schedules and honest reporting. In spite of everything, the Gorgon asteroid remained a sobering reminder of the potential for progress and disaster in humanity's most ambitious efforts. <laughs>